safety items I want to run over for you pretty quickly. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is a little bit about me. Um, I've been an entrepreneur since I was about 12 years old. My dad was a, an iron sculptor, and we had a little welding shop, which wound up back there, as a matter of fact, right now. Uh, my mom passed away in February, and hello. Uh, Shutting off. 
It's your cell phone charger. It's your water pit. It's your whatever it is. Anyway, pass this around, take a little quick look at it. Um, pardon? That's called an AFCI, Arc Fault Circuit Interrupter. This is called a GFCI, Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. This is 10 bucks. Those are 50 bucks. Uh, they're required now. Anytime you do an upgrade in the uh, Oakland area, anytime you do an upgrade in your electrical service, which was about $1,500 to $2,000, you may need about 10 of those now, which is going to bump the price up about $500. Any electrical contractor that's doing work for you that doesn't tell your client about that is doing them a disservice, and it's just going to be an extra because the uh, electrical inspectors are not going to let it pass without it. It is a requirement. Okay, that's the boring stuff. Uh, moving on. Um, better safe than sorry. Take a look on our website, uh, www.americanelectrical.us or amelectrical.us, and you will see a video on there. The video will be on this logo right here, bright orange HGTV, and it is about four minutes long. It was one of our projects that we did in Alameda with Home and Garden Television. It's really good because it has a, uh, a little video, uh, cartoon style document, on wire, on a knob and tube wiring. Now all of you, I imagine, because you sell property in this area, know what knob and tube wiring is. Raise your hand if you don't know what knob and tube wiring is. I don't know. Good, you guys are mortgage brokers, so I'll probably explain it to you. It's bad stuff, really bad stuff. These creepy little ones. Go to my website, www.americanelectrical.us. Click on this logo right here. Any of your um, homeowners who you're trying to convince that knob and tube is no good, Taylor, <laughs> um, go click on this little video. It will show you why it's no good. It will show you why an upgrade is necessary and how to uh, take care of it. Um, so that's video. <clears throat> Be sure to have circuit breakers, not fuse boxes. Many insurance companies, do we have any insurance companies here? No. Many insurance companies will not insure a home with fuses or knob and tube wiring. I know State Farm came into my house and just flat out said, any knob and tube wiring, any fuses, we won't write insurance for you. Uh, proper wiring for all electrical systems and appliances, including washers, dryers, microwaves, heaters, security lighting, and secure devices. Devices. Be in conformance with the California Building Code. So, ready, set, go. Are you in compliance? Here's some examples of safe electrical panels and breakers. Well, let's see. Panels, meter panels. Not too sexy, but you guys know what these are. Sub panels, somewhere inside your house and most houses. And circuit breakers, single pole, double pole, or arc fault. $50 expensive breakers, which really, really save lives. Ah, fun stuff. Let there be light, outdoor lighting, security lighting, motion sensors. Get a look at this one here. I want one of these. That's a motion sensor right in the bottom there. So you can have a little light without having that big body motion sensor. I think those are um, 30 bucks at Home Depot, or something like that. Motion sensors, light sensing devices that come on at night, and uh, decorative lighting. Um, a lot of you have seen the brand name of those. Let's get past my mind right now. But that low voltage lighting, you can install it yourself. It has a, a little cord, looks like an extension cord. It runs on 24 volts. It's totally safe. Anybody can put it in their yards. Uh, around their houses and their gardens. It's beautiful stuff and you can go to Home Depot and, and buy those starter packages for about 99 bucks. Uh, decorative lighting. Um, fluorescent, incandescent, LED, and low voltage. So a little more light on the subject. <laughs> a little more light on the subject. We have inside lights. So now, anytime you do an electrical upgrade or anytime you do any remodeling, um, you are going to be required to have high efficacy lighting. Efficacy. Mm. That sounds bad. I don't know why. Just efficacy. Just really. But it means efficiency. High efficiency. High efficacy lighting. This means that.